for the sign of Capricorn hello and welcome to my channel let's see what's going on so Capricorn in the recent past we got the king of cups and it's with justice so the king of cups it speaks about a balanced male and feminine energy the king of cups holds all the positive qualities all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine so often it indicates an actual man in your life usually when it's representing a live person it's referring to a very kind and loving man who will usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum but it could go either way just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen like I said, the King of Cups represents kindness and compassion. So, in the recent past, there would have been an element of pure, pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation was. So, it would have been important for you to nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you when you get this card in the reading. Now, it's with the Justice card, which deals with the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect so it would have been important for you to remember that not everything you were dealing with in the recent past was a result of your own actions or karma sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about so don't blame yourself unnecessarily also if you were directly involved in a court case in the recent past it would have been resolved at least a large degree in your favor, or it will be coming up. And I say that it will be because the recent past could have been last week. It could have been a month ago, could have been two months ago, six months or more. So Capricorn, basically in the recent past, because we got the King of Cups and the Justice card paired together, there was someone that maybe wanted to offer you a cup of love. This person would have been really warm, friendly, and tolerant. And because it's with justice card, you might have had, you might have had some feelings towards this person. And obviously, they had the same feelings towards you because the King of Cups is about wanting to offer a cup of love. And be, like I said, because justice is here. You feel like finally, yeah, finally you have the right to have this type of warm, loving connection in your life. You felt like it was about time, put it that way. Yeah, you you thought to yourself, well, damn, it's, a, it's about time. Somebody that's loving, warm, friendly, and tolerant comes into your life. So it made you feel like truth and the light and some clarity was brought forward was brought forward in your life yeah you had you felt like you had the right to have this great connection with somebody that wanted to offer a cup of love you felt like justice has finally been served finally you get some good loving or some good love in your life that's what we got for the recent past for a lot of you capricorns now Let's see what's going on in the present time coming up in August. We got the Nine of Wands, and it's with the Five of Cups. Now, the Nine of Wands, it's showing anxiety and fear, being burdened and keyed up over concerns. But it's showing that the first and the best step is usually to take a deep breath and calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can. Because some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and try to pick it apart. Maybe ask yourself, what's the likelihood of the worry actually happening? Comfort yourself. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Because asking for help, it's the mark of a strong person. Now, it's with the Five of Cups. which is It's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well things work for us so you could find yourself asking what are you going to choose to focus on are you going to cry over spilt milk 
or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? So it's about watching where you put your focus coming up in August and make sure your focus is for the highest good. So with these two cards paired together, Capricorn, Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups, it looks like you might be trying to make a choice. Are you going to focus on what you have or just cry over spilled milk? And it could cause some worry and anxiety and some situation might make you feel like being closed off and guarded and it could cause some stress. So it's about making a choice. Are you going to stay stuck, stuck in your head with the stress and the anxiety and worry or are you going to focus on what's still good? So there's some disappointment coming up in, in August, but it's about making a choice. Are you going to just stay stuck on the disappointment or just get on with things? Make a choice to be happy. Some situation is it's there as clear as day. The Nine of Wands and Five of Cups. Now just a side note about the Five of Cups. It, when it, Five of Cups talks about love and relationships, it indicates that a, that a relationship you're in, it may have just ended or could start the process of ending. So, there could be some loss, regret, grief, feelings of um, being unloved, of, un, uh, abandoned. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to stop for a minute because my battery is about to stop and I want to try to catch it before it does. Just give me a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I hope I caught it. So, sorry about that break, but let's get back to the reading. Alright, so where was I? Yeah, so it's about making a choice. Disappointment or just focus on what's still good. Could be ending a relationship, or you might decide to stay and focus on what's still good. But it could cause you some worry and anxiety, and um, you might start to close yourself off. So that's the present time. Now let's see what we got coming up for the challenge. We got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Now the Six of Pentacles is um, it's about generosity, prosperity. It's a term for the better. So it could be relating could, could be in regards to money. It's one of the more positive pinnacles. It speaks of fairness, equality, and the nature of life. So when this card appears, you could be heading into a really positive cycle. Not just a positive day or a time, but a whole cycle. A whole chapter in your life. Six of Pentacles, like I said, it's about generosity. Meaning that you're about to be, be the um, beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Yeah, so Six of Pentacles is beautiful. If you're in a committed relationship, it's, it points to a very happy, balanced relationship for at least a while. Now, because it's with the Ten of Wands, you could feel like you're carrying a burden. You see how this man, he's got these wands He's carrying these wands. He's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you may want to look hard at some type of burden that you feel like you're carrying and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. So if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying 
emotionally. It actually, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. Don't try to take on too much. Okay, so I'm trying. I'm trying to rush through this reading just in case I didn't charge my my camera before it runs out. So just um, bear with me. I'm trying to talk really fast. But anyway, for the challenge, it looks like you got some type of burden here. Some type of burden is coming up. You're gonna feel like maybe the world is on your shoulders, or some just dif some difficult situation, or maybe a difficult connection. But it turns around for the better because the Six of Pentacles, that's what I just said. Things take a turn for the better. You're heading into a positive cycle. You could be the beneficiary of something of value. So maybe um, you're about to become very prosperous. It's about prosperity. Uh, someone wants to give you something of value. It's a turn for the better, so you no longer have this burden. Whatever difficult situation you were in, things turn for the better. Positive cycle, not just a positive day. You're heading into something wonderful. So that's the challenge, okay? Now let's see what the outcome is. We got the Seven of Cups and the Tower. Seven of Cups is a card about choices, and it's showing confusion. It can point to disorganization and having too much going on. So there's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much, doing most of it not well. Try to choose just a few things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. Uh, you may start to feel overwhelmed, but you can control in some areas how much you're trying to take on. Okay, so it's with the Tower card. The Tower card is um, trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. Roll with any changes. It's possible that some people's situations that you had counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. This doesn't have to be drastic because change is the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time when some come crashing down. And it's only a problem if you let it be because you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams. Okay, so the outcome, Capricorn, it is showing that you, you have a tower moment coming up in, in, um, in August, but you'll be enlightened. Tower moment brings enlightenment. You'll be enlightened and awakened by some something that falls apart. And like I said, it's only a problem if you let it be because you can redo it. You can replace whatever it was that came apart with something more realistic and reachable. And what happens is that you become enlightened by this disaster. Your eyes are awakened. You're no longer walking in the dark. Okay? And then you get all these choices, all these options. But you got to be careful with the, all these choices and options that's coming up for you because it could cause disorganization. Yeah, you might feel like you got too much because you got an option here, you got an option there, <laughs> you got an option in front of you, you got an option everywhere. So be careful with that. But uh, the tower it looks like it's not a bad thing for you. But you, because it brings you a whole lot of abundance, it brings you a lot of, well, I don't want to say abundance because I don't know, I can't tell if these are good options or options that are going to, it might cause disorganization and confusion. So just choose your options wisely. Now, this, this was supposed to be a love reading, but it's starting to turn out to be more like a general reading. So let's kind of like, Say, for example, in the recent past, someone's, someone loving was trying to come towards you, or they did. We talked about the King of Cups. Maybe this person is a part of the options that you'll be having. So maybe this person is still in the picture. Um, could be, like I said, the recent past is a week ago or maybe more, three months ago. Um, so maybe they're still in this picture. It doesn't seem like a love reading, but I'm trying to see if 
I'm trying to figure out if this King of Cups is one of your options. The options could be people, it could be situations or things. So, the Tower moment, it brings you a lot. It brings you a whole lot. The good thing about this reading is that you're no longer experiencing a burden. It doesn't look like you're disappointed anymore because the Six of Pentacles takes care of all of that for you. You, you're coming into a lot of prosperity. So, Capricorn, that's your reading for August, the beginning of August. I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I will put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. And since there's only a King of Cups here, I guess I will be talking about this person from the recent past. 